Hello Libra, welcome on my channel, Triple Chew Tarot. I'm gonna do your bonus for September 2024 prediction. What's, up, what's happening, what's coming next? General reading, take what resonates. Switch the energies if you're cross watcher, take what resonates. And leave which doesn't. Simple. Sun rising, any placements in Libra. You can watch this reading. You can reach out to me on my email address if you want to book a personal reading. You can also follow me on Instagram. Link is given in the description. Let's go. Let's start it. Libra, what's happening for you? It's a bonus reading for Libra. You will see that very quick to the point. What's happening for you? Three of Pentacles. Six of Swords. We have the King of Wands. A lot of you, you're working on your craft. You're really positive about your work. Um, the Five of Swords. You could be dealing with Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here, and Air Sign. We also have now King of Swords. That could be you. This could be same gender relationship. Does not have to be. But... You could be also dealing with somebody who has a fire and air in their chart. You could be seeing a lot of ravens, crows, okay? That's a sign. The world, yeah. Interesting. Somebody's coming into your life. Rabbit. This person could born into a rabbit here. Dog. The page of pentacle somebody's coming that's very clear whenever you're going to see the ravens or crows uh universe is guiding you about someone preparing you for somebody and what is this king of wands are having is it dog again this person could have a two dogs rabbit maybe i don't know rabbit dogs Power. Oh yeah, somebody's coming. I want a clarity. What is this five of swords, please? What is this five of swords? Two cards. Okay. No, a lot. Sorry, that's a lot. Should I use another card? A deck? I don't know. Let's see, what is this Five of Swords? You could be dealing with Aries or Scorpio. Virgo, what is that? And what is this tower, please? Oh, goodness, what is that? A lot of cards. Please, one. Thank you. The Nine of Cups. Okay, I want to get this. Let's see, bottom of the deck, the devil. Ooh, Capricorn. Seven of Swords. Devil is here to play. That's overall energy here. Be careful from the devil. When I'm talking about devil, it does not mean that this person is a devil. They are coming with some type of intentions here. They're not going to tell. Now, interesting. This is somebody who was, okay. What I'm picking up here, now listen, we also have the nine of pentacles here. There is somebody who broke your heart, three of pentacles, or this person has the tendency to broke your heart. But this could be you, Libra, that because vice versa, if you're a Libra cross watcher, maybe you're breaking somebody's heart here, and this person is seeing you as a devil, heartbreaker. If you're a woman watching this video, Libra, okay? But if you're not, uh, this could be somebody who, who can break your heart. This is a heartbreaker or they broke your heart. Um, so this is that person, okay? Because I am keep seeing two kings here. So, and we also have the page. Um, oh, interesting. This reading is going to be interesting, honey. Listen, you have a, you, you could be worried about something right now, Libra. I think that you're worried about your work, your craft. 
uh, there's something that you feel like you are working very hard but it's not working look at this uh, you maybe even have a depression about something you're struggling with a lot of money struggling with stability struggling with some type of a you know making things right in your life but it's look like you're continuously are on the loop of the struggle codependent because the devil is like codependency here or there is somebody at your workplace here who's trying to play these tactics to you they're trying to be devilish here like they they're putting you know like this all um, you know burden on you and pressure on you and you are having a very difficult time uh, to work here in this environment you could be working in a very toxic environment here or whatever your work is related here is like this person is definitely sabotaging your work uh, or you think that you're not good enough some of you you're struggling with mental health here i can see that you could be even fighting with the depression and nobody's even know that so you're thinking that because I think this is you, King of Swords here, Libra energy, that's you. You are, it's like hiding it behind the scenes from this show, from this face. Behind the scenes, you're not telling anybody that what you're suffering. So you could be in a depression or you could be struggling with money, finances. You're struggling with even with education or something. Some of you, you want to move forward. You want to complete your degree. But it's look like it's in, in the mid of it because you're, you're having a difficult time to complete that degree or pass that degree or, you know, fight the competition and win it over... Uh, now, some of you, it could be when a job related here, like your boss or somebody who's your senior or somebody who's like really under your job and you're, you know, like is pressurizing you to do something when you don't want to. Okay. So there is a struggle here. You're going through it. Um, I think you're, you're in a lot of pressure, Libra. You could be even under pressure of a relationship, like you're in a relationship for the sake of relationship, just to pretend and are in front of the world that you're fine, you're happy when you're not. It's look like this is like a facade or face or fakeness here. So there is somebody who also could be, that's you, your energy, right? But I think you also still have a spirit with a king of wands that you want to go after your, your dreams. You, you should not give up on your dreams. Now, some of you with the Six of Swords and the World card, you want to even move forward. Like you want to move into different country, different place, different country. You know, you want to move forward. You want to shift somewhere. Could be out of city, or but some of you, it's a Six of Swords and the World coming together. It's a long distance. Like you just want to move forward. You just want to go and get out of this, this house, this country, this place that you think that it's like, it's not good for you. It's not healthy for you. It's toxic. Uh, or you could be in, under pressure of something that you can't go because you don't have money, let's say. So you're struggling. I can see that. Now with the page of pentacle here, now some of you, you could be even working, but it's, it's not paying you enough. Okay. Because you, you have a big dreams. Now some of you, you Libra, as a Libra, you maybe have a big dreams, but you can't achieve it. You could be even codependent on other people. Let's say you could be codependent on your boss, your parents, your partner. You definitely need to do something, Libra. If this is you, you're struggling financially with the world and page of pentacle. Now, some of you, I, I see that you're starting something in the next six days or weeks or even months. You're going to start something. Um, on social media, on internet, if you're thinking about to spread some type of a knowledge or talk about it or express your your creativity or start something, even though you're starting from the page, at least you're starting, you're going to be financially stable. I think you need to do something. You, you should stop wasting your time here. You need to stop wasting your time here. But there are people who are trying to sabotage you with the devil card, like letting you, are trying to tell you that you're not good enough, you can, you're not going to make it happen. Okay, are, you, are, are your situation is very toxic, let's say. You could be living in a very toxic environment that you don't feel peaceful, you don't feel rest. Some of you, you could be under of pressure or you could be under of some type of a spell here. Because there's something with the devil, I, I don't get the good energy here. Like somebody, somebody has a very like a selfish um, intentions here. Now... Let's talk about this with the Tower and Nine of Cups. You are, some of you, you could be even going to meet somebody who is like addictive and obsessed. Like this person could have like a very codependent, uh, let's say. Yeah, you could be dealing with somebody who is very addictive. They have a codependencies. Um, they are into like, I don't know, they're in a devilish things. Like let's say they do some dark stuff. Let's say they could be a heavy drinker. Um, they are sabotager. They're self-sabotager. They're fighting with the depression. And they cope with this like, Drinking, you know, they have definitely some type of addictions. I, I can see that. Now, this is also somebody who's a workaholic, but they're also very toxic. This is a very toxic person that you're dealing with. So you may be moved on from this person because I see that nine of pentacles and three of swords. Yeah, and this person sees that you don't care. You moved on from that. That's three of swords and six of swords, but they are stuck in that. They can't move on. They're seeing you growing, shining, glowing, and um, maybe they want to apologize now. 
the page of pentacles this is somebody who's definitely coming to apologize this is somebody who played the dirty games with you they were very very selfish mean rude all about themselves all about the money all about manipulation all about the toxicity this is a workaholic yeah this person this this is not excuse here this person was dep depressed okay let's say this could be a narcissist they're all about the caring about themselves now with the king of swords and king of wands i see this person could be on some type of a position authority or they could be very attractive and charming they thought that they can be any with anybody because they think that oh i'm on the position i'm the I'm in the power i'm something so you maybe like this person you wanted to be with this person now with the page of pentacle here this person is going to be your puppy in your hand because we have the puppy look at this king of wands this person tried to make you the puppy they thought that you're going to be this person puppet i know this person is jerk this person is like have this type of intentions they thought that you're going to be under this person's spell or you're going to be that puppy but unfortunately the karma is getting this person with the world card and page of pentacles like you are they are going to be a puppy now someone is getting their karma i know that you saw these type of readings a lot this is not your ex this is somebody who played the dirty games with you and you're gonna see they're getting the karma here i said triple one they want a new beginning but be careful this before this person was also selfish they just want the things in their own way they did not think about your feelings they did not think that you were heartbroken you were sad how much they put you in, through hell or, or they broke your heart they were keep uh, you know some of you this person was definitely narcissist or they were definitely could be emotionally mentally um physically could be also abusive person here that I don't know, but I'm picking up here. There's some type of a busy energy from this person. And this person broke your heart. You moved on from that. You closed the chapter. They're coming with uh, forgiveness and apology. Now, I don't know if this is your boss. This is somebody who's your senior. This is somebody who's your brother, your husband, or, or the person that you wanted to be with, the person that you liked. But it looked like they just want the things in their own way. So they sabotage it, or, or they just put this dirty game here. Um, now, the, the games is, is like the tables are reversed now. This person is going to be your puppy now. Whatever you're going to say, whatever you will do, it's like they are just under... They can't move on from you. But you're okay, you're fine. And vice versa. Now, some of you, this could be somebody, because I'm seeing two kings here. There is one person here is definitely coming from with this energy, and there's another person here who may be seeing you as like somebody that um, they're very attracted to, but they could be in a third party situation or there's something going on in this person's life here. They could be the person with the king of swords is like the person of the power, position, authority. Um, and I can see that with the tower and nine of cups, this person is avoiding this destruction. They don't want to, you know, they could be caring about their reputation and image a lot. But it's look like this person does not care anymore. So this is that person who is going to confess their feelings. They will let you know that they like you. They have feelings for you. It's all about the timing here. So I think I told you the person who did you dirty, you're going to see that it's now all happening to them. It's a divine timing. It's, it's all architest, architested by divine here. Now, some of you, this person, this person who has a powerful person, they're not going to care about their power and image a lot. They want to be with you. They maybe even want to be forgi forgiven by you. So this could be somebody who's, who's going to, the person that who was very like sure of their power, they thought that they're, they're something, now they don't care about this power and this image or reputation anymore. They're about to destroy everything for you because they want to be your puppy. They only want you. You are this person's world with the world and page of pentacles and the nine of pentacles because you concurred, you are successful. This could be when somebody who's jealous of you. These are the people who are jealous of you. They're sabotaging your happiness. They don't, they don't want you to be successful. They don't want to see you progress. They don't want to see you be financially stable. But I think you, you concurred, a lot of you. You will be successful or you're already successful. I also believe that you have two people here right now interested in you. So maybe one person is going to make a confession. You will be surprised uh, because this is going to be shocking for you that this person is into you and they're going to reach out to you when they're drunk. I'm picking up when they're drunk. This person definitely indulge in a lot of bad things. I think they have this, like, I'm, I'm seeing that. This person has codependency issues here. They, are, they have addictions. They indulge in a lot of bad things. They did bad things. Um, they maybe try to do something bad with you or they want some type of, have a, maybe selfish reasons in the past. But something is like you crush this person's ego. So this is that person who is like wanting to apologize, wanting to fix things because they think that you're moving on and they can't move on from you. They're stuck on you. They're, they can't get you out of their head. So they want you to choose them. They want you to forgive them. Again, if they're coming back, they're coming about again. They're thinking about themselves because they can't. It's like you were the one, you know, 
accepting or tolerating their bullshit. Be careful. Be careful whoever this devil person is. They're going to be very tempted. I think they're very, very attractive and very charming. But if you're going to be with this person, you, are, you have no idea where you're putting yourself into it. Maybe this person has a lot of third parties, a lot of people behind it. So this could be a cheater. This is somebody who does not care cheating because they think if they're right and they're going to do it. And this person can keep breaking your heart. Be careful. Be careful who you choose because I think there is definitely somebody who's very powerful, very authoritative. Yeah, this person could be stuck in their head a lot. They're a sabotager. They're sabotaging this connection or they sabotage this connection. And now you have the key. Yeah, this is a thief. I told you, I told you, this person, they're coming. Uh, this could be somebody from your house, from your family, a relative, could be. Now, others of you, this is somebody um, who want to invite you in their house. They're not, um, you will hear some type of a news about this person that they're not good. They're not having a good health. Yeah, this is their karma. They're getting that. Now, some of you, you also need to take care of your health in the house. Maybe somebody is, is ill. You need to take care of it. Yeah, there's a travel journey involved. And, I'm, and surprisingly, you can see that the devil is also wearing the same hat here. Same, same hat here. Somebody's crushed, his ego is crushed. Like they just want to get you. Like this person wants to own you. Be careful. They just want to make you puppy, their puppet. Be careful. This is, a, I think, a heart stealer, heart breaker. They're going to give you a lot of money because they have a wealth. There's no issues here. There could be a travel here. This person live far away from you or distance. Sagittarius energy here could be. This is also somebody who's going to invite you in their house. They're very well known in the community uh, and well respected. But I think you maybe have a, exactly the same person here. They're going through this shit and drama or they have this done, done with you. So they're wanting to be with you. And others of you, this is somebody, be careful who you're trusting because you have a two people here. I also believe you will trust. This could be somebody who's going to help you to do anything, whatever you want, right? But you have to do what they, what they will say to you. So this is that type of person who have this intentions to be with you. So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.